Okay, everybody, so in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to use the Tango uh, Chrome extension to create your first info product, or if you're running a digital media brand or an online agency and you want to actually uh, give your clients a sort of window or a portal into your process, Tango is really, really uh, effective and uh, appropriate for that sort of use case as well. I really like this. Um, and I'm recommending this, uh, A, because it's free, and B, because we're building this whole new uh, community for authors and artists and creators and makers and marketers and online entrepreneurs who want to create small products in 2022, create tiny products that make a big impact in the world and in your life as a creator. And this is just a quintessential example of how there are free tools that will allow you to do exactly that, um, you know, really this quickly. So this is going to be a very imp imperfect, uh, you know, demonstration. But I'm just going to show you, let's say I'm in the back end of my card uh, account. And let's say I wanted to make a, um, a demo tutorial for my clients about, I don't know, like ha how to make edits to a card. So let's go into, you know, a simple card. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the extension here, which you can see it says Tango has access to the site. And I'm going to click on this. Now it brings up this window. You can see it says Pro only because I've upgraded to their uh, Pro plan, simply because I like the white labeling that offers rather than having their branding on any of my uh, stuff. But again, it's free. You don't need to pay for this tool and you get an incredible amount of value. Uh, that you know is just remarkable. So you'll see, as I begin to capture this workflow, you'll see this box. Hopefully, you can see this at the bottom, which is essentially capturing everything I'm doing on my screen and and adding a numerical uh, sort of tutorial format while also identifying the things that I'm touching on my screen. So let's say if I click on uh, join this. And I want to make an edit to this. So you can see the steps check that there's a check here and the steps are now five. So it's actually if I wanted to teach my clients, um, you know, how to modify their, you know, card landing page. Again, this is very imperfect. But as you can see now, this is at step seven. If I wanted to then move into the, you know, how to add your, uh, you know, MailChimp API key, you click here, then you click there. You can see this is updating now numerically. Now there are 11 steps. If I wanted to uh, blur, let's say this area here, so that people aren't actually able to see it. Let's say the API key would be something you might want to blur if you're doing a video like this or you're showing anything of your own that has, you know, some degree of sensitivity. All right, I can resume capture now. And let's say I wanted to change that text there. All right, now we're at 16 steps. I'm going to hit the check mark, which is compiling my tutorial. And literally, I now have a PDF that I can download. And as you can see, it captures all of these steps. It titles it, and it's going to walk my, my clients through this exact process where they can see everything that I just did. You can see that that's blurred there. All these steps are captured. There's a live link that I can send my clients or I can preview it or I can export it, which is really what I like to do using a PDF. So now I can send this to my course uh, clients, folks who've purchased one of our courses or I can uh, make a copy of the link and just send the link to people. I can embed 
this, uh, you know, in an email, or I can actually, uh, I can actually embed this on a website as well. So I can actually paste the the code into, let's say, a blog or a community that we're running, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It just makes it really, really easy and super cool, and it's free, right? I mean, you can't, it doesn't really get any better than this. The, you, you can also make all these edits here. So where it says click on highlight, anything that you change will update the tutorial. So So if, for an example, you don't like the steps that they actually automatically generate for you, so where it says click on API key, click on audience ID, these are all populated by dint of the actions that I did while sort of doing the workflow. But if you don't like them, if you want to make these more entertaining, interesting, or just write different text, all you have to do is go to the appropriate place and make the edit and this will it's just very very cool and it's a perfect place to begin for creating a tiny product or to capture your own process for your own clients your own community your own platform etc and again you could send folks a link uh, you can preview it here you can send them a link or you can export it to PDF the reason I pay for this simply because I don't want Tango's, um, you know, logo on anything that I create for clients, and by paying for it, I'm able to white label my the experience that I'm offering my audience, so my own colors, my own logo, etc., etc. Okay, doke. So hopefully this has been helpful. Again, really some exciting things happening uh, in our own community in 2022. We're launching this whole new tiny revolution community for authors and artists and makers and marketers and coaches, consultants, really anyone who wants to make a big impact in 2022 with their own products, content, courses. You can really build a phenomenal business that's fun, easy, ethical. And uh, we have some other things to announce as well. I'm actually going to be uh, doing a an experiment with ownership, community ownership, where I'll be uh, creating an NFT and a Web3 style experience so folks can actually have some degree of ownership over this new community that we're building in some very cool and creative ways. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I have a link uh, in the description box below. Okie doke. Teach what you know. Do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. Thank you as always so much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.